Okay, so this video is going to discuss uh, fissure projections and different stereo isomers. Um, and so what you're going to learn in, in this video is a proper uh, depiction of a, of a fissure projection, how to determine the configuration of a fissure projection, uh, and we're going to look at some dive stereomers that are also um, fissure projections, and we're going to look at the uh, fissure projection of glucose and figure out how to determine the configuration, the R or S configuration for that. Alright, so basically a fissure projection, you can see here, we, we know that carbon is a tetrahedral, and, or a tetrahedron, and so the fissure projection is basically looking at the carbon from the top right it's like if you were holding it holding this molecule in your hand it would be like looking at uh the, looking at carbon from the top all right so in a fissure projection it's important to understand that the horizontal lines here and here are wedged and then the vertical lines are dashed that means that the vertical lines are going back into the page and the horizontal lines are coming out of the page and so in order to to assign configuration to a fissure projection is very simple all right if the hydrogen is vertical right meaning up or down it doesn't matter if it's vertical you go through your normal procedure for assigning configuration first you assign priority and then you determine whether or not the groups are oriented clockwise or counterclockwise and you should remember that assigning priority is based on atomic mass all right so here's the priority bromine is one this carbon is 2 and this CH3 here is 3. Why are these two carbons different? Well, they're the same atom. They have the same atomic mass, so we have to go to the next atom. In this case, it will be oxygen. In this case, it will be hydrogen, so this is priority 2. So when we look at this, all right, and we, we count here 1, 2, 3, we see that that is actually counterclockwise, right? So the configuration here is S. So if the hydrogen is vertical, you simply uh, assign priority, and if the groups are oriented in a clockwise fashion, then it's R. If it's counterclockwise, then it's S. All right, so let's look at another example. Here, the, the hydrogen is no longer vertical, it's horizontal. Remember, if it's horizontal, that means it's on a wedge, all right? Just like these two are on a dash, or a dash line, sure, yeah. Okay, so... If it's horizontal, here's a, there's a little trick that you have to remember. All right, you assign priority, right? And let's look now. The priority here is one, two, three. That is actually clockwise, right? That's clockwise. However, if the hydrogen is on a wedge, meaning if the or if the hydrogen is on a horizontal line like this, that means it's on a wedge. And so if the configuration with hydrogen being on a horizontal line, if the configuration is clockwise, you simply reverse it. So normally this would be R because these things are oriented clockwise. So if that's the case, if hydrogen is on a horizontal line, then the configuration is the opposite of what you see. So this is one, two, three. Normally that will be R, but because hydrogen is on the horizontal line, then the configuration is actually S. All right. Only you only do this for fissure projections. All right. This does not apply to um, other depictions of chiral centers, but only for a fissure projection, and only if hydrogen is on a horizontal line. All right. So here's some other fissure projections, and I want to actually look at these in 3D. So here's a depiction of isomer A. Uh, I'm just cutting it around a little bit so you can let me straighten it a little. That's iodine, carbon, and hydrogen. And on the bottom carbon, you can see nitrogen, carbon, and then hydrogen. Let's get a better view of it here. Let's turn it a little bit more. Okay, so that's A. So in order to determine the configuration, the stereo centers at A, we have to turn it so that the hydrogens are facing back, 
all right and we have to think about each stereo center separately so this is group one here this is group two and this is group three one two three this is isomer B notice the hydrogens are on opposite sides iodine is pointed back here's nitrogen let's turn it around and get a better look at it so you can see the two horizontal uh, substituents here and here are on a wedge line coming out of the screen and then the vertical substituents are uh, going back into the screen so with these fissure projections you treat them just like you would treat a 2d depiction of a fissure projection which you can see here uh, and the way you treat them is if hydrogen is horizontal then you prioritize right and then if you look at the way that the groups are oriented iodine is one uh, this carbon down here is two and then the methyl group uh, over to the right on the top carbon is three so when you count right it, it looks like you will be counting in a counterclockwise fashion uh, here one two and three and so if that's the case remember the rule if hydrogen is horizontal then what you see you reverse it right and so even though that's counterclockwise that would that would be s but the fact that hydrogen is horizontal makes it r all right let's look at the bottom uh stereo center here right and again you're applying the same principle to this as you would to a 2d fissure projection right so your uh, hydrogen is horizontal again here the groups are prioritized like such right nitrogen is one the carbon uh, on the top stereo center is two and then uh, the methyl group is three so if we count that again that is also uh, counterclockwise right under normal conditions if hydrogen was vertical that the configuration would be s but because hydrogen is horizontal the configuration here is also r so the overall configuration for this molecule is rr okay so now let's look at glucose glucose is just one big fissure projection when you see it drawn this way you'll see it on standardized tests this way a lot and so let's look at the carbon here at this chiral center and let's determine the configuration at this chiral center one thing you need to remember again this is a fissure projection so these two groups are on wedges and then these two groups are on dashes all right so here's the question do you remember what I said earlier when hydrogen is horizontal or the lowest priority group is horizontal then the configuration at whatever configuration you see then the actual configuration is the opposite of that so let's look at it so here are my groups this is group 1 OH group 2 is the aldehyde here group 3 is this carbon that's that's attached to all of these carbons down here so really group 3 is this whole group all right and so the reason two this group two is higher priority than this one this is C with two bonds to oxygen this is C with one bond to oxygen all right and so when we look at this this is one this is two this is three that is counterclockwise so it should be S but because hydrogen here is on the horizontal line it's actually R so if you have any questions, you can email me at arussell at tuskegee.edu or you can come by my office, Armstrong Room 102. Thanks.